Hi friends, welcome back to another Colorful Life, my Colorful Life, and I hope you guys are enjoying these. This is the second month of 2019, my Colorful Life uh, with Nikki Parr and with Ann Williamson. We are doing a collaboration together. We are upcycling our last year's calendars, and um, this is what we have. This month's color choice is red and um orange so that is the challenge to use red and orange in our project you can collage you can paint you can do whatever you want on your calendars just have fun using those two colors with addition to the colors that we have for each month the two color choices we also are allowed to use black and white so to make the picture or to make our writing or anything like that we can use black and white as well in our projects so this is mine so I'm going through all my scraps here today and finding some red cardstock. I was looking for orange. I couldn't find very much orange stuff, but here this is what I put on here and threw it together to start collaging. I am actually using um, PVA school glue, like Elmer stuff just right on there and wasn't thinking about it and just using that instead of the Mod Podge, but hey, whatever works. It's still dry clear and that's what I'm using to put um, some of these pieces on. I mean, this project, one of the things I wanted to do every month was add a pocket. So um, I haven't made a pocket card for it yet, but I'm thinking later on I'm going to. Maybe at the end of the year, I don't know. Um, but here's my pocket. I just used the black and white pocket. And now I'm just using my background uh, paint to paint the background. I used all these pieces just using up my stock and my stash, and I think that's pretty cool that I get to use them up. I'm using the orange from... Uh, Deco art and then orange is pumpkin patch and then I use a little bit of white which is cotton ball. I also use um, my primary red I believe. No I actually think I use lipstick red and these are the colors that I use from Deco art. At this point I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just having fun. I did not think of this ahead of time except for the colors. I am using a stencil from Deco Art, Art and uh, just having fun with it. I've been wanting to use this one. I've been kind of craving. Isn't that funny? I'm craving to use a stencil. I've been craving to use this one in something lately and I finally got a chance to do it. So here is my start. I'm kind of taking back some of that orange um, using this stencil and I really like the look. Now I accidentally skipped through this because I thought I was recording, but you can see that I have an octopus on there. What I used is a um, crayon, water soluble crayon, and colored and, and did my outline of the octopus, and then I put red in there. Now I'm just adding my orange highlights. So sorry about that, guys. I forgot to push play. So I'm just continuing with the highlights with the orange. I'm trying to keep, I'm tre keeping in my colors. I hope you guys get the gist on how I'm going in a little bit darker spots with the red. I put the red, um, after I did the outskirts of the uh, octopus, the outline, I put the red where I thought it should be darker spots on the octopus. And then this is really abstract octopus, so um, it really, you know, it wasn't anything too fancy and then I decided to put the orange where I was doing my highlights and then I also add a little bit of white later on um, but I'm gonna show you the crayon that there it is that water soluble crayon from like 
a store that was in Canada, it's in the States now, can't think of the name of it right at the moment. And that's what I did, used at the first place to do my outdrawing, outskirts, my outline of the octopus. So here I'm just doing a little bit darker edges and rubbing in with my finger this time. Last time I just used a wet brush to move the crayon. This time I'm just rubbing it in to make more of a smudge mark with shading. So here I'm adding white and I'm just p pulling off the white with my paper towel that I have here and just make, leaving the highlights and just kind of dabbing it with a damp paper towel that had just damp from the white paint. And then I'm going and making some of my darker places, shadows a little darker with my, again, water soluble crayon. Here I'm going in with my red just in my darker areas and just trying to make it look more shaded on that side. I was having fun with it. I was trying to get like the tentacles in the back a little bit darker. This is a whimsical octopus obviously and um, it doesn't <laughs> it didn't have to be perfect. Here is some of this rub off stuff I had years now um, and I'm just rubbing it little words not even full words I just don't want it to be really legible too much I just want to put it all over on this octopus his tentacles all over his head everywhere like that and I thought really made a neat um, whimsical piece very abstract after all that I used my ink and my rolling um, script to get the, all the outside of my um, picture here darker and I just used archival ink for that to darken up my other edges I was like could have been done but sometimes you just keep going and yeah I just play with it until I feel comfortable and like I said I'm leaving the pockets empty at the moment I think I'm gonna go back and do the cards later I did do one card for my first one but it was not a permanent card it was just to reminder of what I wanted in that card so I think I might just leave that for the end of the year to do like a whole big project with the cards thanks guys for watching I hope you enjoyed this let me know in the comments below check out Nikki Parr and Ann Williamson with our collaboration they're doing it as well the orange and the um, red colors every month we're doing a new color scheme so join us and have fun Bye, guys.